play the gills on that one. Lobs, that's so wild. Gorgeous little mushroom. Two nice ones too. It's a perfect chanterelle. Well, you guys, oh, we didn't even do any kind of intro. So just we'll do it. What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of The Bite. Today we're gonna to be doing a little chanterelle mushroom picking. The chanterelles are popping everywhere. It's been raining and then sunny and then raining and then sunny. A couple of days of rain, like a week of sun. That's great for the mushroom popping. It's the end of September. There should be chanterelles everywhere. So we headed up here to do a little salmon fishing. We smashed a bunch of salmon this morning. Make sure to catch that episode also. It'll probably come out before this episode a couple weeks or last week or something like that. And uh, then we headed off to the woods to get some mushrooms. I think we're gonna have a fun day, so don't go nowhere. We just found our first little patch of mushrooms with some chanterelles tucked up in here. I think they might be white chanterelles. They could be the classic uh, yellows, but they have a little white tint to them. I'm gonna go in and do a little harvesting. So yeah, that could be a yellow, that could be a white. They're, they're not quite as bright white as I'm used to seeing whites, but you see the whites on the hills and um, in slightly drier areas. And this is a little bit before the really wet forest that we're going to. And there's a bunch of these right here. All of them have this bright white color. Um, I'm used to the whites being a little bit maybe heavier and a little bit more white. So these could just be white yellows, but these also could be uh, white chanterelles. And if you look right down in here in the gully, look, there's a couple of little buttons. You can see these little buttons and then right back in over there. So like this right here, if you're a chanterelle aficionado, this is kind of a little bit more what a white chanterelle usually looks like. They're a little bit chalkier and more bubbly and stuff like that. And um, seeing that there's a few that look like this right here also is what made, made me think that maybe these are whites. Um, those first few I pulled didn't really look that much like them. It's like a mixture between the two almost. Yeah. They crossbred. Look, look at some of these beautiful little buttons. These are my favorite because you can throw those in like a stir fry or something whole, and then you get these badass whole little beautiful mushrooms. But there's also some other decent sized ones in here. Like right back in here. This guy has got what they call fans. So it's not really quite fan leaves, but it's what would be the top. This one's pretty beat up, you can see. But um, still it's that style where there's a little bit more lip to it. This one's not a great example. This one's a little bit better, but still kind of beat up. We'll find some pretty mushrooms in here, but you know, classic, First classic chanterelles. First ones of the day, couldn't not pick them, you know what I mean? We're not picky yet. Yeah, so these, again, I think are probably white chanterelles. They're a slightly different type than those darker yellow ones. I'm sure we'll find some yellows up in there. I think actually this is a yellow. You know, you can see the, the difference a little bit. I could be wrong. These could just be really light, light whites. I mean, light yellows. But um, I think that that's maybe a white chanterelle. It's kind of beatered, you know what I mean? But when you clean it up and you chop it up, it's gonna be just as good in the pan. You couldn't uh, take this to market, you know? They, they say like you got number ones and number twos. This is like a four or a five. This is a pretty ugly mushroom, but it's gonna be delicious. Check this one out, you guys. This is kind of that classic Fanny chanterelle. Fanny, he said Fanny. Um, what I mean is that the um, gills fan out, kind of turns out a little bit more trumpet shaped rather than being that classic kind of curl over button. Start spotting mushrooms. One of the best things to do is stop walking because literally Asher spotted some over there. As he was coming back this way, we're spotting them all over the place. So usually you're probably gonna be stepping on them. If there's one mushroom, there's more. Um, we'll see if we can pull a couple of these out and see how nice they are. Here's some nice golden chanterelles. These uh, these look like they're a little bit weathered. They kind of feel a little bit weathered. But uh, man, the golden color on that thing. So nice, look at those gills. Yeah, this one's a little bit past due. I feel like it's a little squishy from the rain last night. We had a really, really heavy rain last night. It didn't last long, but it was, it was thick. So it beat down a couple of these, but it also made a lot more pop up, some freshy caps around. There's so, another one in that same hole. Is there? Oh, yep, yeah. little button that in there. A little better. A little perfect one. So I'm guessing that this one probably popped up the other day, maybe like earlier in the week. And, uh, and then we had that heavy rain last night. This one might be from last night and this morning, just because of how small it really is and how un, or how 
how not, how not mature it is. You know, it doesn't, it only has like, if you look at the gills underneath it, it has a really small gill plate and it's still curling over the top. And it like, really only takes, a, you know, a few hours to a day or two for these to pop. Yeah, and then they'll start pushing out like that and making the really cool chanterelle art is what you kind of call it. Just, I mean, look how cool that is. Let's find some more. There's another little one right here. Go ahead and grab that guy. That's going to be a good one. So there's a big argument about cutting and pulling. I think that uh, cutting them keeps it cleaner in general. I mean, if you pull them out, there's always a little bit of dirt and some kind of soil and stuff on it. And uh, yeah, you get you start putting it in your bag, your basket, and all of a sudden you have a bunch of dirt in your basket. So cutting them keeps your basket a lot cleaner right off the top. Um, yeah, so we're gonna gather up all these ones. These are perfect eaters. This right here, that is a spaghetti, spaghetti <laughs> mushroom right there. There's another pile of little spaghettis right over here. Let's go get them. So right, right, right here. Go ahead and. So, obviously the most. Oh, hey, look at this little guy. Come here, Dad. Oh, he's even like a baby too. Little orange belly. Look how he's freshy. Yeah. That's a youngin. Super cool. Look, he looks just like a chanterelle on the bottom. That guy is awesome. I can almost let him blend in with the mushrooms. <laughs> Super cool. So we, ob we obviously have talked about the gourmet um, side of the mushrooms, meaning like a one and two is what you're gonna get from a restaurant or what you're gonna sell to a restaurant or what they're gonna put on the plate. These ones are past that, but still delicious nonetheless. Honestly, these are way cooler than the, uh, you know, the little caps. Like there's nothing, I don't know, nothing special about that when you have something that cool. You'll still get some of that on a plate sometimes too. You'll find right. the, you know, the uh, fan chanterelles or the They still taste the exactly wings. the same. I think it's more of a cooking aspect uh, because the small, you know, these things all shrink well, up. Well, these little, these, these little buttons, these little perfect ones. Yeah, they're just nice to no stir cut. fry. No cut. Just throw it right in. Hey, little dude. Excuse me. Yeah, let's Excuse make sure not me. to cut him. Are oh, you gonna go between them? He's all you put me here. <clears throat> Take these caps from him. I mean, those are for the plate right there. Pretty. Couple more right here. What a good little it's harvest. A little mini garden. It's almost a fairy ring. All right, mini fairy ring. Those are fine. I mean, that's like, you know, if you were to draw a picture of a mushroom, you know, with the, the stalk and the little cap, it's like a cartoon mushroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, we had caught salmon earlier today. And now here we are in the afternoon harvesting mushrooms. I mean, we're gonna have a complete meal after this one's done. I can already see some more over there we're about to go get, so let's get them. Here's a couple right here. A couple little beauties. Look at these. Look at what I just found, you guys. A little hidden treasure in there. Ooh, the tiniest little chanterelles ever. Now, you could say I should leave these little tiny chanterelles and let them get a little bit bigger because they will come out and get a little bit bigger, you know, <laughs> obviously. But, um, yeah, somebody else was here recently. But I love these little chanterelles. That's the tiniest little chanterelle cap ever. Look at that guy, boy. That's a good one. Lots of stock. She got legs. And there's a few more. These are all just starting to pop. So you gotta dig down underneath a little bit like that one right there. We're gonna leave that. Doesn't even have a head on it yet. We're gonna bury that again. And that's definitely gonna pop up as a mushroom in the next couple of days, just like this. So you see how right here, that was completely buried. It's a pretty decent sized mushroom to be completely underground still.
Like it felt like there's a couple right over there. there. See them right there in the gold. Let's go get them. Yeah, there's another one on the hill right here. Good. Good stock. Nice little throw that chantrail. So, can you guys spot the chantrail here? <laughs> A little bit of gold. It's like a gold nugget hiding. That one's got the cool like umbrella. Check out the bottom of that thing. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. So cool. And then there's a little another little one in here. It even has like a dude, it's wild. This is a wild little chancho. Look at this cat. It's like kicked off to the side. Totally. <laughs> little beret. <laughs> He's all Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at this beautiful little patch right here, you guys. Pretty good one. But can you see right up in there, underneath that fern? Gorgeous little patch. And then right here underneath me on the ground. So Almost a fairy ring, bro. So when they have the mushrooms basically creating a circle, they, it's, it's kind of nicknamed a fairy ring. Um, well, that one's already been cut off. So somebody harvested here really recently because that's a cut off stock. It almost looks like that is too. Yeah. yeah, and then these all popped but after dang, look at those ones. After they cut this off. Yeah, because that one's cut also. Those are almost as money as they come. But yeah, if you look, Asher's right there doing a little harvesting. We got a couple, where's my hand? We got a couple right in here. And then if you come around this side, there's one, there's a couple right there. And then there's one right there. And then there's some right there. It's almost like a full circle. I think we're going to run in, I think we're going to run into quite a bit of these coming up. We're not even in the, the best part of it. Yeah, the Valley of Gold. Yep. I'm not sure if I should be like afraid or whatnot. He's just swinging his knife around, pointing with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful mushroom right here. That right there, you guys. It's a pretty perfect chanterelle. They don't get a whole lot nicer than that. We're gonna clean the stock off just a little bit. Cut the base of that dirty part. Just, it's like that jumbo cap. Yep, Beauty. just clean it up a little. It's gonna need a little, little cleaning when we get home, but it's really, really solid and firm. It's got a big cap on it. And it's like in between those little tiny buttons that you can just throw in a stir fry and those big fan ones. And this is a real fire classic classic chanterelle and I hate to do it to it but I'm gonna do it cutting it right down the center so you guys can see what these look like on the inside sometimes you'll you'll pick mushrooms that seem like chanterelles a couple of the different types of falses have totally hollow centers things like trumpet mushrooms and things have totally so hollow centers uh, this is what the inside of a chanterelle mushroom should look like and when you take these solid ones where they've got like a pretty firm body and a pretty firm cap and you just slice them like this, that's a really delicious just size and cut to be able to take these chanterelles. They like, you still kind of hold their body. They look like a mushroom. It's gonna have enough meat and texture to still hold up and be a little bit meaty in the pan. But um, it's also like, you know, a good little sl side sliver instead of just kind of dicing it all the way up. Um, but beautiful little chanterelle, right like that couple more look at this one right here this one is also about as perfect a chanterelle mushroom as you can pick you know some people like those big giant fan out ones you've heard us say this a few different times probably already on this episode but i really like these little perfect button ones like this i think that that's a perfect chanterelle what what'd, what'd you find oh a big old lobster big and like got a second lobster growing out of the top of it this was growing out the top of it? Yeah. Wow. That was like wild. Yeah. Wow. There's another one, like a little, little one on the side. Oh, uh, you want to harvest this lobster, Chris? Yeah. Let's see the, let's check the firm heat first. That's so. Thick. Usually the center will be the first thing to kind of get slimy. You don't want it to be squishy at all. You want it to be really firm and actually like a solid uh, mushroom. Or obviously 
mushrooms in general, they fade really quickly. Once you harvest them, you only have a certain amount of time to uh, eat them, do whatever you're gonna do. Um, but lobster mushrooms seem to fade really quickly. So if it's got any kind of squish at all, I would have left it. But this thing feel, feels really firm. And oh, lobster yeah, mushrooms. Completely different mushrooms. I, I like to just pull lobsters just because they have this like bottom chunk that they just click right off. And you just think, put that back in there with those. Wow, and roll that thing over. Look at this thing. For how dirty the top was, look how gorgeous the bottom is. Such look at that, mushroom. what a beautiful, gorgeous dome. So perfect. And even though I, I pulled it out, I'm still gonna cut that foot. Look at the look at the coloration in the bottom of that thing. Yeah, meaty. And that thing is like it, it's dense, like it's not pinching down. Yeah. When you get a lobster in its prime and you process it right, they're a very, very delicious mushroom. Yeah, and, and when they are firm and nice like this and they don't have any kind of squish to it, they will last a little bit. But if they have a, a slight bit of squish, that'll just carry on through its lifespan and just it'll just rot it out and start yeah. rotting out. But that is a chunk. Boom. Nice find, J-Bell. Boom. Yeah, two nice ones too. I love when they have a, a twin and they're both really they're nice. Beautiful like that, yeah. Yeah. Even though, hate to do it, but I gotta clean her off. She might stay together for a second. <laughs> but two, All right, let's get those really in the nice bucket. Ones. There's another couple little ones right there, and then there's even one more over That's here. A nice little pile. Fern. Oh, there's maybe a few behind us too. Right there. See that one right there. And then you always gotta look where you're walking, because I swear you'll you'll squish really good ones. So yeah, get that one right there, and then right over my shoulder, there's another one. That one's pretty cool. Check right out. Right down in there. Check out the gills on that one. Oh, lots of gills, lots of fins. Real cool. So then if you look down in there, there's two actually. Right down in that little pocket. You see them? Yep. Three, we got a little baby. Two nice ones there. Pull that one out. Cut it off. Oh, I see another one too. Obviously, mushrooms like to hang out together, like true friends. And so where there's one, you might want to look around. Because uh, even right here next to the other ones that we already saw, a couple leaves move. Boom, little button. Alright. That was a nice little pile. It was. Combined with this little pile. That's a load right there. Get your knife. That happens often. Leaving a knife in yeah, the woods. Yeah, because you like, you know, you start harvesting, you lay your knife down, and it's camouflage in here. You ain't gonna find it again. So, this one's more mushroom. Oh yeah, look at these beauties right here. Little, little trumpety chanterelle. That same thing Chris was talking about earlier, where it's almost like, you know, this is one mushroom, but it's almost like there's a mushroom, there's a little head, there's a little head, there's this one coming off, a couple of little heads there, and it's like a bouquet, you know, and I got like a bouquet, which, you know, is really one mushroom, but it's like a bunch of little mushrooms all connected. Like a little chanterelle. Yeah, beautiful. We're going to put that one down right there. And right behind me here, get another really nice one in the ferns. Look at this beautiful one. We're gonna just set right here with that one. And then right over here, there's another little beautiful one. And we're gonna take it and set it right here. And now, I don't see any more here, but I'm not gonna get up and leave. I'm just gonna kind of rotate my head around a little bit and look in the bushes and see if I see another one. And this time I don't. You don't, oh, look at that. Hmm. There it is. So it's just a little guy, but again, I really like these little guys. And if I sit in here for just an extra second and looking around, I found them because I knew I was in the spot. You know, all over out here, the mushrooms could pop, but what you're gonna find is like a little, you know, 10 foot square area or something like that, maybe 15 foot square area that a whole bunch of mushrooms are packed into, and then a bunch of kind of empty woods where there's not patches of chanterelles at least. There could be other mushrooms scattered. And then you'll come up on another little pocket, a little clearing or a little area, and there'll be a whole bunch packed in right there. So really you're kind of moving patch to patch. When you find a patch, you should look around a little bit. 
here it's real abundant we just walk around we're going to stumble over mushrooms all day long the, they're popping right now and we're finding them we can forget half of them yeah we can forget a bunch we can <laughs> take home as many as we want but it's not always like that and sometimes you'll go out and you'll hike an area and you'll walk around for half the day and you won't find any you'll walk around another area for half the day and you won't find any and you're really putting in time to find where they are and when you find them you know that you're now like at the elevation you're at the moisture humidity level it's getting enough heat you're in the zone that they're popping at that time of year so you might as well hunt around that area a little bit try to find your patches and when you do find one you know make some concentric circles make you know some little zones look in some of the ferns and some of the areas right near it because there's probably more popping that you can't really see that's that spot that we went earlier where a, a person had cut a few yesterday or the day before someone came through harvested a few mushrooms and then just a day later all the other ones came up they had looked a little bit more a little bit underneath the ferns a little bit in the in the undergrowth in the moss and stuff they would have seen those hidden heads and they would have gotten a whole lot more mushrooms that we now have beautiful little harvest let's go it's a nice one Oh, we're at the boat right now, we're at the dump pile. <laughs> well, you guys, you know us and fishing and the water and boats, love boats. We are fishing on the beach all day. I don't know if you can guys can see right through the woods, right in there. There's like some old dump pile from back in the day where some people just like left some trash and there's a boat sitting there. So uh, maybe on the next episode, it'll be like a deep in the woods, mushroom spot boat. Trolling. Rebuild. Trolling, we're not, we're trolling not, in the woods with mushrooms. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that, <laughs> guys. We went trolling in the woods with mushrooms. People will be like, "What? what are you, <laughs> yeah, what like, are you wait a second, about? you guys are partying. You're not doing shit." But uh, right here, found a few more beautiful shanties. We're gonna just harvest them real quick, and we're gonna probably call it a day because we were salmon fishing pretty early this morning, and we just stopped off here to grab a few mushrooms on the way home, and we happened to run in to a pretty abundant harvest. Little, little trumpety chanterelle. So cute, so wee little <laughs> cutie. That's perfect. Look at that little buddy. So you guys, we were leaving and then I saw this beautiful patch right here just so many and I have as much mushrooms as um, I really need to eat I'll probably give home some to some family members having a few extra chanterelles isn't gonna be a thing I'll you got roommates and stuff I got roommates and stuff but I really had as many as I needed and it was like all right we're gonna go home and walking along ran into just such another beautiful little patch it's gonna be really hard to not stop every 50 feet mm. on the way back to the truck because I have a feeling that there's going to be mushrooms littered all the way back. Because um, I just picked another 10 really nice ones. And I can see two more right there. Let's go get them. <laughs> Down in the dirt.